lot of times hackathons do have all the tools, but the tech support isn't there. In this case, we have the tools and we have the tech support the whole time. That's what kind of separates it from being at home and doing this on your own and just Googling it. What's great about the Intel hackathons is like they, they bring lots of experts. You can see lots of experts here and they're very hands-on. Quite often we had like a bugging problem, you know, where some piece of the code's not working like we want it to work. And we had someone say, oh, let me find the guy who knows how to fix that for you. If they run into a roadblock, then they can go to one of the blue shirts, which is what I always say, just go to the blue shirts, and then they get some help. You get help in setting things up, because they have a lot of people here who say, well, here's how this works and why you might want to use this. I had a little trouble initially setting up the server for the temperature sensor, but he helped me and we got that started real quick. So we attended the uh, JavaScript workshop on how to develop the app on the Edison. So we got started right away and we were, we were able to get it working within a day. So they were really, really helpful. And having the people who make these products products right there helping you out. It gets done a lot faster. Code on the website was a lot goofy, so you can ask them, this is goofy, right? It's not supposed to do that. And they go, yeah, okay, we'll fix that. 